I'd like to talk to you guys today about, I guess, fear. Not only fear, but other things as well that we're going to incorporate in here. Now, as you guys may know, uh, if you've been watching me for a decent amount of time, I have been going around talking to people about addiction, anxiety, and depression around my area. No, that's pretty much what I am pushing my career towards uh, doing going forward. But this is something that I have realized something that I have been doing wrong and right at the same time. Right and wrong at the exact same time. And if you can fully understand what I'm going to say and what I'm going to tell you guys, it will it will change your whole life. There's no two ways about it. It will change your whole entire life. So, I had been going about doing this, trying to get people to realize things uh, by sort of, I guess you would say, uh, obviously by saying that you're doing this. Like, quit making excuses. Accept it and fix it. Now, I did realize the error in my way with that, right? Because not everyone is able to hear that. Not everyone's able to comprehend that. Not everyone's able to understand that and turn around, come to grips with it, right? So I have switched it up a little bit. And I have been a little bit nicer, uh, a little bit more compassionate, caring towards people. And this is the way I've been doing it. I've been going into a room, talking to people, saying, I'm going to give you two speeches. Two speeches. The first one is going to be a... There's going to be one that will be for everyone. It's going to be a nice, loving, love yourself speech. The second one is going to be called hard truth. If you can't handle cold hard truth, if you can't handle what I'm going to say, you get offended or sensitive, then you may want to leave. And that's how I've been doing it. Now, I want to give you guys, I want to give you guys both here and simplify it. And if you can fully understand what I'm saying, it will change your whole life. It will change the way you see things, perceive things. Change your whole life. So let's do the whole nice and hand holding one. That's why I want to call it, even though it's not hand holding. It's still pointing the finger at you because. You just, but let's get into it. So basically, anything that's wrong with you in life, whether it's addiction, whether it's. And this can be addiction to drugs, cigarettes, sex, uh, food, whatever. It can be an addiction to whatever. Anything can be boiled down to three things, and three things only, and they all include you. You're the main source in all these, just notice this. So, if you are not happy with yourself, you feel like you don't have a purpose in life, or you cannot accept who you are and you're feeling a void, now notice this, you're, when you're feeling a void, essentially you're running away from yourself, because you don't think you're good enough, you don't think that uh, you have a part again, you don't think you're good enough, you don't think you have a purpose, you're running away, you're trying to fill a void, um, and even boredom, you making yourself bored by not making, not doing other things like exercise, whatever, hunting, hobbies, you see what I'm saying, fishing, anything, paintball, whatever you do, that's just things that I do, uh, that I do when, for hobbies, but let's say that you don't do shit, boredom, you know, you feel like you don't have a purpose. It all interweaves together. Now, if this is not true, which I'm saying it is true. I'm saying that everything I'm saying is true. And you have to accept responsibility for what you have done, right? You have to accept responsibility and not try to blame genetics. Because that's something I see a lot of people do. They try to blame genetics for them being overweight. They try to blame genetics for them being addicted to whatever and they try to blame the way they were brought up their their upbringing that's something that i don't like um i've noticed a lot of people that will that will take blame for what they have done like to use that as an excuse and realize it's an excuse so now you're saying to yourself blake you're telling me this but how is this being the nice thing? Like, how is this holding my hand? Because what I'm really about to tell you, the second part of this, is going to pale in comparison to the first part of this. Now, you have to find yourself. You have to be happy with yourself. And you have to find your purpose in life. To do anything. Once you've done that, once you have done that, you will break free of addiction. You will break free of caring what anyone thinks about you. You will break free of... Uh, whatever problem you have, if you're overweight, you'll get your ass in shape quick. Trust me. If you're smoking, you'll quit smoking. If, etc. You see what I'm saying? It goes on and on and on. This, please find somebody to dispute this with me. 
Now you're going to say, Blake, well, this has to do with, this has to do with, and this has to do with addiction. This has to do with being lazy. This has to do with being unmotivated. What are you telling me that has to do with anxiety and depression? Now, this is where some people's not going to like it. A lot of people's not going to like it. This can be put into that because that is true. The core root of anxiety and depression comes back down to you. Please understand that. And if, if you can fully understand what I'm telling you, it will change your whole life. Be very, and please understand what I'm going to say. Be very, very, very careful of someone that offers you suggestions to imaginary problems. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because if you do, and you can get that, and you can grasp that, it will change your whole life. Be, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Pay attention. Be very careful of people who offer you the answer or the suggestion to fix imaginary problems. Be very careful of anyone who tells you they know the truth and that anything they're saying is truth-related. Be very careful of that. Because, again, no one can tell you the truth. Only you can figure out the truth. Only you can figure out that you're imagining all your problems. Only you, only you, only you can figure out what is wrong with you. Only you can figure out the mental mind games you're playing with yourself. And only you, only you can realize what anxiety and depression truly boil down to. Because please realize that everything I said at the first part of this, like you have to be happy with yourself, you have to find your purpose in life, can truly be said about anxiety and depression. It all it all interweaves together. Anxiety, depression, addiction. If you're not happy with yourself, you're going to be one of those things, guaranteed. Now, I want you to also question why now more people than ever in human history is saying that they're anxious and oppressed. Think about this one. See if you can tie it into something else that's going on in society, you know what I'm saying? Something else that's going on uh, that's kind of blew up over the past few years when this has went on the rise. And then also understand that there has been some key things at play that have been promoting this to act like it is normal. Understand this. And then after you've understood everything I'm telling you, after you have thought about this in your head, after you've thought about me saying that. And I'm just going to come out and say it, right? When I'm telling you that anxiety and depression is only real because you have constructed it to be real in your head. Understand this. When I tell you that anxiety and depression is on the rise, because one thing, and that is social media, social media is putting this crazy illusion out there that makes you think that you have to be better than you are. You have to live a certain way to be happy. No understand that the next thing is who's promoting this anybody and everybody that you talk to or hear about these kids uh i'm going to name a few examples here that talk about this shit um billy eilish i only know this girl because my daughter listens to her and i watched two of her interviews and this is some bullshit i'm just going to say it it's some bullshit this girl has anything she could want in life. I know you're going to say, well, Blake, that don't mean that you're happy. I mean, she has money and she has fame. Does that mean that she's happy? Oh, she, you can't say that she's happy. You don't know if she's happy. You're right, I don't. But I know enough to know that that's some bullshit. That they're, concoct they're concocting to make it seem like she is more acceptable to this generation because everybody's anxious and depressed. Now, you also have these, these rappers, uh, that has overdosed, and before they overdosed, they talked about how depressed they were. You also have rappers after these f people overdosed because of talking about how depressed they were, then comes out and says, well, I'm depressed, you know, I just think it tried to talk about it. I want you to realize that, and I want you to realize they're full of shit and promoting it uh, because they're trying to make money from it because that is the thing to do now because people want to say that they're anxious and depressed to fit in. Why? I don't know. When they're really not. So realize these things that I'm telling you. And then 
fully understand, fully understand that any fear that you have, please understand this. It'll change your whole fucking life if you can understand what I'm telling you. Any fear that you have, like let's say that you have an irrational fear of going broke, you have an irrational fear of um, heights, you have an irrational fear of, I don't know, fucking birds, of um, snakes, um, you have a fear of you getting cancer, you have a fear of something, I mean it's an irrational fear, or to you it's not irrational, right, it's not irrational to you. But then I also want you to fully understand what I'm saying about all this. Anxiety, depression, addiction, fear. Um, be very careful of people, of people, of anyone, any other, any other person, any other person that offers you the key or the answer to imaginary problems. Be very careful of anyone that tries to tell you they know the truth about something. Be very, you know, listen, this is, I don't, I'm, I know I'm repeating myself, but it, I need to drill it in. Be very careful of anyone who offers you answers to imaginary problems. The only person, the only person, the one, 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 the one person. Who can figure out what's wrong with you and fix all these things. And realize the mind games you're playing with yourself. And the imaginary imaginary problems you have is you. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is when you find out who you really are. Or, if you don't want to find out who you really are. At the very least, what makes you happy and what you think your purpose here is. So what I'm telling you is fear, anxiety, depression, and addiction are all linked back to one thing, and that's you not finding yourself and being happy with yourself. Now, if I'm also telling you this, and I'm also telling you that these problems are imaginary, what else am I telling you? Think about this. Contemplate this. If you can, if you can read between the lines here, it will change your whole life. Like I said, I can't tell you guys something. I can't just point and say, hey, this is what you need, this is exactly what you need to do, and this is what I'm talking about. I can't do it, because then you're just going to believe it. And then if you start believing it, then it's it's no different than anything else, because you're just blindly believing something. What I'm telling you, if you can understand it and grasp it, will change your whole life. And this is something you don't have to believe. This is something you'll know when it happens. I want you guys to, to to understand enlightenment and to understand what an awakening is. Do research on that for homework or whatever. Or don't, because most of you people won't do it. Um, you'll just blindly believe whatever, and I hope you don't blindly believe anything I'm telling you. But look up an awakening and an enlightenment, and then think that you know stuff about awakening and enlightenment, and then throw that shit out the window and times that by a trillion to the point that you can't express it in words, and to the point that... 99.9% .9 of these people that think they're enlightened or awakened don't even know the first fucking thing. They're still, they're still stuck. And it's obvious that they're still stuck because anyone that has had this would come to terms with the fact that they're imagining their own problems. If you can pick up what I'm putting down. Change your whole fucking life. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you later.